guys, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. So we're getting a little bit of a later start in this vlog. It's almost 1 p.m. I just filmed a fun Princess Polly haul for you guys, which I'm really excited about because I got some really fun fall pieces. Um, and I have a code for you guys, which is gonna be Ashley T20 for if you guys want to get any fall pieces as well. But hopefully I'll have that up in the next few days for you guys. But today we are not really doing much. I had a early morning workout at Orange Theory. Today was my first day trying it out. I was obsessed. I signed up right afterwards. I think I'm probably gonna cancel class pass or at least tone down my membership to like the lowest credit option and just do like yoga and stuff. And probably Pilates because I just wanna like have variety, but I really like the accountability and just kind of like what Orange Theory all entails. So love that. But yeah, we are going to go to Kinko's and Trader Joe's real quick. I was gonna do a full Trader Joe's haul, but I think I'm gonna do a fridge restock and vlog with you guys and kind of show you guys how I restock my fridge. So I think I'll do my actual groceries probably tomorrow or the next day. But my dad and my mom are making one of my favorite chili recipes that they make tonight. Um, I'll probably have my dad vlog some of it, it'll be fun. Um, he's so goofy on the camera. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna go get the ingredients they need for that. And then also get my prints out. I have a few prints that I want to put in our bathroom as well as our hallway as well as a couple that I'm replacing and just resizing that weren't correct from the beginning um, for my spooky gallery wall so that will be 100% complete for the season um, and then basically I think we'll just kind of be at home the rest of the day I don't really have much more in my mind so hopefully we can just like edit and just kind of have a fun little fall day watching fall movies stuff like that so that's the plan I'm also wearing one of my new sweatshirts I got for my white fox haul, which is also gonna come out soon. Um, I'm so obsessed. First of all, it's brown and I couldn't tell that this, but it's like a really pretty purple. And I'm just like, what more two perfect colors for spooky season? Like I just feel like, I mean, purple is like a spooky season color to me. It gives me like witchy vibes. So super obsessed. And I'm wearing it with these like not matching brown biker shorts from Princess Paula. They're like really soft cotton. And then just like my orange belt bag because we're just going to Kinko's and Trader Joe's. But we're going to go around those errands and then we will come back for the night and yeah. Okay, we're back. I got everything from Trader Joe's that we needed except a couple things my mom's going to get on her way home. And then we went to FedEx Kinko's. They're not going to have my prints ready sadly till tomorrow or maybe the next day which kind of sucks but that's okay. Um... And then we just got salad from Chick-fil-A. I got a Cobb salad. Um, but yeah, we're gonna sit here and eat lunch. And then I think I'm gonna sit down for a minute and edit. I kind of want to get a vlog posted tonight. Um, I had a company that I was waiting for a brand approval for, but I don't even like the company. I don't get it. So, and they're taking too long to respond. So I'm just canceling everything and just posting it without their content in it. Because I'm just over it. But yeah, I'm going to get that posted for you guys, hopefully tonight. Um, and then I'm going to watch a couple Halloween movies. I think we're going to binge watch Dahmer too while I edit. If you guys are watching Dahmer, or Game of Thrones, or The Patient, these are our three top shows that we're binge watching the last few days. Let me know your opinions because I think all of them are just so insanely good. I think Evan Peters and just totally just like crushes this role. And then House of Dragons is just... Josh and I just are... We can watch it on repeat all night long. Oh, and Rick and Morty. The new Rick and Morty last night was funny. And The Patient, like it's just... They're all so good. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna eat... And that's it. <laughs>
I have not spoke to the vlog yet, but it is Thursday now. I ended up not vlogging yesterday. I just had like a really emotional day. I posted that video kind of announcing everything. Um, it was just a weird day, so I didn't want to vlog, but I'm vlogging today, most of today. It's like, I think noon or one now, but we're gonna vlog the rest of the day and have a little us nights, get some sushi, have fun, because Josh is going to golf X tonight. Or is it X golf? X golf. X golf. Um, but yeah, we, I was trying to start the vlog earlier, but I got some fun content pictures, which I'm so excited to share with you guys. Um, one being in this outfit, the other outfit, um, you guys will see on Instagram like tonight. It's for my Princess Polly like content picture. But I got this like really cute, okay, you can't really see it, squats. Um, romper from them. Look, you love butt pockets. And I put it with my Warren Docs and it was so freaking cute. Um, but on top of that, I need to take these off. My feet get hot on Docs, bro. We also went to Orange Theory this morning, which I also forgot to kind of vlog. Um, and it was so good. You guys, I burned so many calories at this place. Like, it's like really nice. Um, I love it. I love Orange Theory. So if anyone's checking it out or interested, you should, and it's dope. But um, yeah, anyways, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Um, I went to Zara because I didn't have anything under this and I forgot to bring like the tank tops I normally wear in these because they're very deep V. Um, so I went to Zara to just grab a tank top so we could shop the rest of the day and I didn't have to feel uncomfortable about my breasts. Um, but, and I got lucky, I found some really cute things at Zara, which I can try to link down below. I'll keep the tags to see if I can find them on their stupid website better. But I got these really, really cool. They're not as like vibrant orange as they are in the camera. But, so freaking cute. I feel like you could wear this like with any color top and have so much fun with it. Especially for like the fall season in like November. Like big chunky boots. I just think that, oh, I think that's gonna be so cute. I think you can even dress it down with like black or white Converse. So that's gonna be fun to style. And then also when the, <laughs> when we got robbed, they took a bag that had all my beanies in it, except I think this Carthart beanie is the only one that survived. So I'm kind of restarting my collection. And Zara had these two. Sven, there's so much drool on these. How did you do that? By smelling the bag. But that one matches you. I got this cute black striped one. Let me put it on you. Oh, Sven, you're so cute. And then I just got this like plain white one because sometimes like I don't like this tag on this one. So I thought it would be cute to just have like a plain simple white one for like big chunky sweater, like trench coat outfits. So... That's my freaking Zara haul, but that's not even the haul I'm freaking excited about. Um, we went to Spirit Halloween after, and we did too much, first of all. Way too much. Um, but I will share with you guys everything we got. And just to preface it, Josh and I are being Lydia and Beetlejuice this year um, from that their reading, the reading, the wedding scene. Um, so we were going to do it last year, but sadly we like waited too long to go get our stuff and every single spirit halloween looked like it got freaking ransacked last year so we had to just pull out like some weird stuff that we had for mr and mrs smith which was still cute and it was exciting because like we were about to be mr and mrs after that so that was fun but this has been like a dream costume of mine for like two years now so i'm really excited and we got some perfect like house decor for the party and just for decor normals for like in the spirit of beetlejuice so I will go up front and I'll share that with you guys. Okay, let me turn it around because the first thing we got was the sand worm to put in our front yard. I think this would be so cool. And we have a ton of like gross mulch and stuff in our yard because obviously um, it's super undone right now. So this is gonna be so fun. I think this will be so cool in a picture. And then for the same setting, we got this here lies beetle juice and it like lights up. And again, for the picture, that's just gonna be so freaking cool. And then we also found, let me get it out, a Beetlejuice table cover because I wanna decorate that table with it. So I think that will be so cute. And then Josh got this and I'm so excited. I think that is absolutely hilarious. It's like a skull funnel. So that will be so funny for everyone to be using. And then we got some glow in the dark spiderwebs. I think we're gonna put some on the trees outside, add some spooks to the front yard. 
And then I also want to put some like around my frames and then like around my mirror and stuff. So I have that. And then for my costume, I got this like little tutu, like shredded skirt thing. And then Josh and I actually just got him like the Beetlejuice costume and we're just gonna make it look like dirty and stuff how it is in the movie. All we need to find him is um, like a white undershirt like this and also make it kind of like dirty. So super cool. I'm super excited about it. Um, but yeah, that's like our little haul of the day we just had. <laughs> we also went to North and got some shrimp bread stuff and some pizza and it was delicious. Okay, so it's been a minute. Josh and I watched The Corpse Bride. He took a nap and then I edited some of my fall decor haul videos. Not haul, like decorate with me for spooky season video, I guess would be a better term. I'm hoping I have that up for you guys Saturday so you guys can have like the weekend to watch it and go shopping if you get any inspo or whatever. Um, so I'm working on that. I had like over four hours of footage to edit and somehow I've managed to get it down to like 30 minutes. So I'm like in awe. Um, and then after that, I scheduled some posts to be posted on YouTube, like my Princess Polly haul and on Instagram. Um, and then I spent the rest of the time like replying to you guys on my last two videos before my Princess Polly haul. One, I'm just responding to your guys' comments. I kind of like waiting until I can actually read and respond like genuinely. Um, but I just read through 78 comments of your guys's well, 77 of your guys' love and support towards me and my me announcing me leaving my float pool position and accepting my new NICU job. Um, and I just like, I feel so grateful. Like I was terrified to post that video because I just like was expecting that I was going to get shunned from the nursing community. Like I just thought so many of you were going to drop me and like I still expect to lose some subscribers because I know that like, there's a lot of people out there that want more and just nursing and I totally respect their choice and I hope that they can find other YouTubers where all they post is nursing and that's what they can get out of that. Um, but yeah, I just feel so grateful for your guys' like understanding and kindness and empathy towards me and how I'm feeling and it feels really good hearing that a lot of you were in that same boat where like you also felt like you couldn't do a float pool in whatever position you were doing it in and like you understood the pressure and anxiety I was feeling in that position um because I literally felt so alone like I felt like I was the only one experiencing that and it just was like so bad on my mental health so just like honestly like reading your guys's comments and like just like knowing I have you guys is like a support system is just like a really big deal to me because like I honestly thought I was gonna have to stop YouTubing and like stop being a creator and stuff which really like sucks because like this is something that makes me happy and i love you guys and i love talking to you guys and i love engaging with you guys and there's just like i really thought i was gonna like lose everything in that video almost because like i know that so many of you came here for nursing and nursing only so um it was just really scary and like i feel so relieved just knowing that you guys are not that community that's just gonna like leave me hanging and it just feels really good like knowing that i have you guys like i just like having you guys like have my back the way you have in this video um because i feel like that's like what we need in nursing like i feel like so often like we're all just like left to dry in the nursing world and it's so scary and it's a really hard profession and school doesn't prepare you for that like in the slightest and like I don't know, I just like I'm glad that like a lot of you felt seen and heard and like all of that from like me sharing my experience so far in my career. Um, it just like really means a lot to me. Um, and then also like I'm hoping like part of the reason I stopped vlogging the summer was because like I was really struggling with like you work so many hours and like it's not always a fun job and then you have to come home and then I would edit just all this nursing like week in the life of the nursing stuff and like just like so much was about nursing and I was like I just want to come home and not do nursing stuff so that was like another reason and like I after this break like I do realize like that is a part of me and that is a part of my identity and like I do love nursing and I do love sharing it with you guys and I really have like a different outlook going into this next career at the end of October and I just really hope that like and I'm planning on just like sharing every single vulnerable moment with my of my career with you guys because like 
I kind of wish that I had like someone that like that to look up to when I was feeling this way because I swear to you guys I literally thought I was the only one um and so like it's just reassuring knowing that I'm not and knowing that like we can have a community for like new grads where like we share these experiences and maybe we can do like a live video once or twice a month and just like kind of like talk to each other and like vent about like how our career's going and what we're doing to adjust or things we're changing to try and like fix things and I don't know I just let me know if that's like something you guys would want to do because I don't know I just feel like sometimes we don't get that support and nurses are so often like left to just fend for ourselves and it really sucks mentally um, but yeah, sorry for my breakdown. I just like, I really do love you guys. And I just, I felt so much love in that comment section. And I'm going to cry again. Um, oh my God, I'm such a fucking baby. But like, yeah, I hope you guys get my point in this whole sob story. But anyways, let's, let's fix ourselves up. I feel like I'm crying like Kim Kardashian when she lost her freaking earring in the ocean. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> It is like six right now. I just ordered sushi from Hoppa Sushi. Um, Josh is going to golf with his buddy, so I have a few hours to myself. I'm actually really excited um, because, like, I was like, I'm gonna order sushi. We're gonna take a spooky season bath tonight, and then I really want to come back after the bath and watch a spooky season movie with or without Josh, whatever time he gets back. But I don't know, I thought it would be fun to have a little self-care night with you guys and like spooky season themed, like obviously that would be so fun. Um, just in case you guys haven't seen it also, I put together an outfit for like with my Princess Polly stuff this year um, for my post for them and I was so proud of my outfit and like tell me if you guys get American Horror Story vibes from this because I like took it and I was like, babe, I literally feel... Like, I get, like, those coven vibes. So, anyways, just something silly and stupid. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to sit here and eat my sushi. Um, I, I think I'm going to put on my friend Julia, Christine, who's also a YouTuber on here. I'll link her below. Just posted a video a couple days ago, and I've been so crazy busy and emotional and annoying that I haven't got to watch it yet. Um, so we are, I'm going to put that on, and we're going to watch that. Sissy, what are you doing? You brought a band, you brought a, what is, what is that? A bracelet? You brought a bracelet over here? Uh oh. She's gonna, she's gonna start attacking the bracelet. Maybe I should move my laptop. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna eat my sushi. Also, if you guys have a hot or something, I get the spicy tuna roll, and then I get these plain rolls that are literally just like cucumber. It's just like a piece of cucumber and rice, and it's delicious. And then I get this Japanese yellowtail. It's yellowtail, uh... That's a jalapeno and then scallions and it's so good. Um, and then I also got a side of edamame with like their spiced seasoning. Oh, and I forgot my soy sauce. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go get my stuff, my soy sauce, and then I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna eat and just kind of watch some vlogs and then we will get ready and uh, take a bath. First spooky season bath of the season. I am obsessed, you guys, with how my little ghosties look. I love them. Um, I'm gonna light my candles. I might not like the taper one. I thought it was cute at first, but like I'm so scared it's gonna like ruin the wood. Um, so we're probably just gonna set that here. But I'm so excited. Look how cute all this is. I'm gonna try this guy. He's actually glow in the dark, and I'm so excited. We're gonna use this bath bomb. I have two more bath bombs, but I want to have like the movies with these when I take the baths and just make it a whole moment. So we're going to do this tonight because I think I want to watch something really simple like Casper or something in the tub. But like, just, I'm just really excited. I am going to rinse it out because Josh took an ice bath in here this morning and then get it going, get my movie going and stuff. But yes, I'm just so excited. It's not going to focus you guys, but it literally glows in the dark. So cool. 